This week, Finn are in Amsterdam for the biggest gathering in the region of the MRO community. This is Aviation Week's MRO Europe exhibition and conference. The exhibition centre in Amsterdam has seen thousands of people pining through the doors, but if you could make it, here are Finn's highlights. The show opened to the signing of a cooperative agreement between Safran Nacelles and Lufthansa Technik for MRO services on Airbus 320 Nacelles, powered by CFM International Leap 1A engines. The company say they will combine their expertise to develop repair services, resulting in increased accessibility and solutions that match market demand. We spoke with Frederick Dupont, Vice President Technical Sales and Customer Service at Etihad Engineering, about how it has extended its reach beyond the United Arab Emirates and is supporting Abu Dhabi's vision for the future. We actually are now attracting people to come over, people that may have not you know, ever even come to this part of the world. So we would like definitely to believe that we are a, a, an enabler, okay, a, a contributor to the Abu Dhabi you know, 2030 vision for sure. Airbus announced a contract with Delta Airlines to provide Skyway's predictive maintenance services for about 400 of its A320 and A330 aircraft. The so-called Open Data Platform tracks and analyzes operations and performance data and assesses the possibility of future failures. Since the program's introduction at the 2017 Paris Air Show, Airbus has signed contracts with 29 Skyway's customers covering more than 3,000 aircraft. We spoke with Oliver Wyman's David Stewart about the state of the MRO market and his forecasts for the next decade. The airlines are making money uh, they're, they're, and therefore that flows down to the supply chain including MRO. So our numbers show a fleet, sort of fleet growth over the next 10 years of around about 3% per annum. And then the MRO market, 77 billion today, over 100 billion in 10 years time growing at a slightly higher rate of 4%. And Dr. Christian Sutner of Starburst told us more about startups within the MRO sector, specifically about a radical new way of detecting dents in aircraft using an innovative 3D scanner from company 8Tree. We uh, have a very narrow focus because we all on only look at startups that are relevant for aerospace companies, and we scouted over 4,000 of those. 8Tree, they are doing visual inspection, um, they have automated tools that without any training you can identify and examine dents. Boeing Global Services featured a number of digital product enhancements and introduced its new Pilot Insight app that enables fuel monitoring for commercial pilots. We spoke to Mike Fleming, VP of Commercial Services, about the introduction of its RootSync app, which is currently being used by airline KLM. We're continuing to evolve all of our products in our digital aviation suite. We came out with one uh, recently, it's called RouteSync. It's one that allows pilots that takes their flight planning information, automatically populates that into the flight management computer, and so it saves the pilots time to be able to do that automatically as opposed to having to do it manually. Embraer signed a flight hour pool program agreement with Bahamas-based Western Air to provide repairable component support for the carrier's fleet of ERJ-145 aircraft. Western Air recently purchased three ERJ-145s from Embraer, becoming the first operator of the aircraft in the country. The operator says it has plans to purchase additional aircraft by the end of the fourth quarter of 2018. Monarch Aircraft Engineering announced it has agreed the terms of its new ownership structure, with Grey Bull Capital becoming the majority shareholder. Chris Dare, CEO, said that it marks an exciting new chapter for the company and it will move forward with ambitious plans for growth building on its solid foundations. Finally, we saw a glimpse into the future with Lilium Head of Product Design, Frank Stevenson, famous for designing the BMW Mini, BMW X5, McLaren P1 and Fiat 500, among others. He showcased the advancements the company is making in vertical takeoff and landing travel with its Lilium Jet product. What I've done now is take the uh, challenge of designing the next, I would say, the next age of mobility, which is going vertical and, and taking uh, taxis up into the air. It's been another incredibly busy and successful MRO Europe, and we've got lots more stories for you. Go online and subscribe to get them straight to your inbox at wearefin.com.